Here we are, another edition of Thought for Food, where I get to sit down and talk to some of the best chefs and restaurateurs in this country. And it's happened again. Hi, Nock. So a Good to see you. I was going to say Likewise, chef. So a <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say chef, but you, you don't like the title chef? I am a cook. You're a cook. Well, isn't that I'm a chef? A cook. No, I love the word cook. Okay, I'm, you're going to go. I'm going to go cook. We at our fantastic restaurant. It's been open for well since 2019. <laughs> it's called Kaleya. It's on Ninth Street, basically in the Italian market yes. section of South Philadelphia, right next door to Ralph's. We are good friend. Okay, well, it's like one of the oldest restaurants in the, in America. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and they are fantastic, and they they great neighbors. They embrace us. Oh, so good! I'm very lucky. Okay, um, Kalea, named after your mother, right? Yes. Okay. Why'd you name it after your mom? Because I love her. You like and her? No, no. It's more <laughs> I, than I love, her. love. Is is the relationship that you know that. I I miss because I I am so far away from home and I talk to her every day. I love her. I miss her food and part of our daily conversation. It's not just me and my mom. It's also my brother and my mother. Yeah. What did you cook today? And we always talk about food. So you know, when I open the restaurant, I I just want to name after her. I want to honor her. I want to show the world how awesome my mother is. As a mother, as a cook, as a woman, so I, I name it after her. You are getting emotional when you talk about your mother. I have no emotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you try to hide it, but there's emotion and there's passion in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but, you know, love comes with passion and emotion. That's love, and I love my mom. Yeah. Um, and you love this place because you, I said. It, it, it's more than a restaurant. You say sometimes that it's it's culture, your culture. Yes, it's more than a restaurant. It's um yes, um anytime I I think about my restaurant, about Kalaya, it's, it's not the business. It's love, it's passion, is it's something that I created to show the world, the food community about what is true Thai food is look like non manipulative, non adulterate. Right. Is that, is yeah, that right in English? Yeah, no, yeah non adulterated. Really good. Yes, yeah. because this is what the world need. This is what the food community in Philadelphia deserves. Have we not been eating proper Thai food all these years? I would not say that. I have no idea. You well, tell me. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of Thai food coast to coast. It's probably my favorite food. I'm not kidding. I've eaten a lot of Thai food. But people rave about your food. What, what is it? Because What's it's the number the one item here? It's Thai food. That's why they rave about it. Well, I know, because Thai food is fantastic. <laughs> but I, she said, what kind of Thai food do you eat? And I go, well, Pud Siu, Pud Thai. And, and I smile. No, I didn't do that. I well, smile. Went, okay, it was kind of a smile. <laughs> but people rave about your dumplings. What makes them special? Um, dumpling is um, art. My Thai dumpling is royal Thai dumpling. It's royal Thai appetizer, which is very hard to find. Is the craftsmanship? Is time? Is work? Is the work of art that we presented to you? You cannot even find what I did here in Thai restaurant in Bangkok because it's time consuming and nobody wants to make it. Um, this dumpling, they use it for special occasion, like cha muang or the bird dumpling. Uh -huh. um, they use it for wedding or, you know, this is for aristocratic food at the old day. The people that have, you know, the staff that cook for them uh, so and present it to them as an appetizer. This is a special evening when you come here. It's Every day is a special day at Kalaya. Whenever you come to see us, we make you feel special because you are very special to us. And we presented you, you know, our, our home cooked food that we cook with heart. With our, what shall I say, with our love that we have toward our food. And we want to present it to you the, about the, um, you know, the right way that how it should be. Mm -hmm. 
and this is another kind of dining experience that is kind of what can I say is fine dining is Thai fine it's, dining and we don't normally think of Thai and we probably should a Thai restaurant is normally the little restaurant down on the corner and yes. a lot of people don't think of it as fine dining yes but this is it is because you know we have a very long history and our cuisine is have you know it's very complex mm -hmm. uh, but when people think about Thai food they always think about green curry red curry and whatever that have broccoli and <laughs> <laughs> carrot. So true. I have nothing against broccoli and carrot, but you would never see it in my restaurant. Besides one dish that I love, broccoli in oyster sauce with the beef that I love. So you got some broccoli back there, but very little of it. Ve just one dish. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, you have a lot of awards for just a restaurant that opened in 2019. You're a James Beard nominee already. Finalist. Finalist, excuse yes. me. Yes, excuse you. You're a finalist. finalist. <laughs> you probably should have won. Um, you know what? <laughs> At this point, winning or not winning, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I survived the pandemic. That's the okay. winner. <laughs> also, Esquire named this restaurant one of the best new restaurants in America. And what was the oh food and wine said the very same thing. You're one of the best new restaurants you in America. You did your homework. Yeah, well now she admits it. <laughs> In other words, you're good. I would say I know that I'm good, but this is not one woman show. This is not one woman operation. I am good because I have great team. It's the team effort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you are the queen. No, don't be like you normally are. <laughs> yes, I am. Where's my crown? Yes, I am. <laughs> um, tell me about Trang province in Thailand. Is that where you grew up? Yes. Um, I grew up in Trang. It's the southern part of Thailand. And Trang is the melting pot of the mixed culture, mixed fresh. So we have a lot of ethnic Chinese food. We have Islamic, that's um, from uh, mostly from Pakistan. We have Indian. We have Malay. Malay. I yes. And my... we have Thai. So, and at the old day, Trang was the port. So a lot of Trang food will, uh, will be very heavy on spices, black pepper and white pepper. Because pepper is the luxurious spice until today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you come to my restaurant, what you would taste is like, you know, at the end of the note will be, or the, the flavor will be pepper. Because that's what I grew up on. Yeah. yeah. So your mom worked in a Thai market, right? My oh. mom worked in the market. And so yes. you, you spent a lot of time around Thai food then? Um, I grew up with Thai food, yes, of course. Because well, obviously you, you live in <laughs> Thailand. But you know what I mean about the ingredients <laughs> in, in a Thai yes. grocery market. Yeah, I grew up with, um, you know, growing up in the market, I know my seafood. I know the fresh produce, I, I know what good, and I know what not to serve to my family. Let's put it that way. So if I'm not going to serve it to my family, I'm not going to give it to you. How about that? No, I, I get it. Uh, would you serve anything bad to me just to get, you know, get back at me? You would never know. <laughs> when I keel over <laughs> 20 minutes later. Oh, my God. So we are lucky to have you here in Philadelphia. What did it take? Because you've had a number of different jobs. Yes. You're a jewelry maker at one point. Yes. Right? A flight attendant. Yes. And if she hadn't become a flight attendant, you wouldn't be in Philadelphia. No, I would not be. You were flying for Thai Airways? Uh, Airlines? Yes, I started with Kuwait Airways right after invasion in 1991. And then I moved back to Thailand in 1994. And I was flying for Thai Airways until 2009. And what happened on one of those flights? I met my husband. <laughs> <laughs> what a love story. I know. Okay, well, Music. tell me the whole thing. <laughs> I, I now want to know the whole setup. Where is he sitting? 
Um, okay, he was sitting in business class. Okay. It was the direct flight from Bangkok to New York, and it's a long flight. And in and the flight was quite empty. So you know, in that kind of long flight, if you don't talk to the customer, you won't the passenger. You won't have anything to do at all. So I love talking to people. You see, when I come to when you come to my restaurant. I talk to you even you don't like to talk to me. I'll talk to you. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> As I like, hi, my name oh, is no. I am trying to eat these do dumplings. Like my food, please smile. Please. Yes. So, <laughs> long story short. No, I, I want the whole thing. He's no. sitting there in business class. Is nobody and, sitting next to him? Um, no. This was. Um, there was another passenger sit up there next to him. So and he was on my section, and normally with that long flight, like I said, you know, we give people enough attention because we have time. Sure. Yeah. Do when when he first sat down, did you think he was attractive? Were you interested, or do you remember? No, no, no? I did not remember anything. I lied. I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so, who made the first move? Oh, me, of course, I'm a flight attendant. I say, Samadika. <laughs> okay, so then you, you can't. I, uh, I serve It's a long, long flight. It's a long, long flight. You serve them food, uh, what, yes. alcohol? Um, yeah, because normally I was hoping that, you know, after many glasses of red wine, he would fall asleep. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> he loved watching his movie, so then I keep serving him coffee, and, and we, we did have a lot of conversation, but the guy who sit behind us he was really sweet i remember him the end of the flight he said if you don't ask her out i will <laughs> the guy will sit behind us yeah that really happened it's really happened it, he it, was it, i it, remember that guy until now he's really sweet yeah well your husband now was he going to ask no he wasn't oh he would have walked off the plane and regretted it the rest of his life it might be me that regretted to the rest of my life <laughs> <laughs> no it's going well right your marriage is going well Look at me. I <laughs> smile. I'm happy. Happy life. Happy. What? Happy the life. Happy, wife, happy, happy life. life. Yeah. That yeah. Is. Okay. And look is always right at home. You are? Yes, my way or no way. Oh, I believe it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm frightened of you. Um, so he takes down your number. He did not. Then how did he, how did you um, end up getting together? He know where I stay. I let him know where I stay. He know my full name because we have the badge. We like your hotel? Yeah. What a creeper. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh so you're God. in New York. He knows what hotel you're yes, in. Yes. And then he called and we, we met. He went, yeah, we met. We went to museum. We went to MoMA. And we went out for a drink. And we went to the restaurant at the W Times Square. And he took the train back to Philly. I know that. That's a great hotel there in Times Square. Yeah. The corner. Yeah, 47th Street. In yes, Seven. and there was the Japanese restaurant. Now it's oh, yeah. became Mexican. Or, yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Yes, when we the, met there. Yeah, there used to be a place called Blue Fin. Yes, yeah, it's Blue, Blue Fin. Fin. Yes. Oh, I got stories in Blue Fin, yeah. too. Yeah, you do? Yeah, not as so good as yours. we're sharing something in common. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so did you know as you when you left Blue Fin, and he's heading down to Penn Station to get on a train to Philly, that it would be a lasting relationship? No, this is not Hollywood. This is real life. Oh. So I, <laughs> I went back to Thailand. I live my life. And then when I am coming back to New York again in uh, February, I let him know when he, ca he called me just once during New Year to, you know, yeah. to greet me. And then I said, oh, I'm coming back. And we met again. Yeah. And that was it? That's, and then we decided to to continue our relationship we met it was a global relationship oh, i would yeah. say he's in philly yeah. you're in bangkok yes because we see each other all over like you know europe for two years oh he would fly to meet you wherever you Paris, were going london rome milan well this is romantic as heck to america we met in la in new york what a whirlwind relationship i'm in love with him Oh my God! <laughs> Can we not have this? <laughs> this no, is your reputation. This is wonderful. <laughs> this is wonderful. And he you, is a wonderful. What do you man. love about him? Food. He is a foodie. Oh yeah. He loves food. Yeah. It's 
somebody had to say, you're either moving to Bangkok or you're going to move to Philly, so you ended up in Philadelphia. Yes. What did you think when you first moved here after growing up in Thailand? Um, the first time I came here, I came to spend my vacation. So there was a supermarket called Chef Market in South Philly that's very close to us. I got up, I got dressed. Um, and she asked me, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the supermarket. He looked at me and then he said, okay, go. And when I went there, I was like, okay, everyone wearing t-shirt, nobody wearing high heels. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> to go to supermarket. So Philly for me back then, I was not sure that I would be able to be here and be happy. No, I got it. Yeah, got but it. then when I moved here and I have my dog with me, it's just the best time of my life. Wow. I kept saying that I love Philadelphia, I love Philadelphia. And nobody believed me. Yeah. Because Philly is home and Philly have a lot to offer. People are friendly, food scene is great. Sure is. Philly have everything that you know the big city had, but but in a very smaller scale and manageable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love Philadelphia. Of children? A Pomeranian, 18 years thought. old. Yeah, yes, homeschooled. She mentioned the dog. <laughs> you love that dog. He loved me. Well, I can see I why. I love him back. <laughs> yeah, again, we're on 9th Street. How would you describe this place and how did you choose it? Because that's so important, choosing a space. The space chose me. Oh. I, I, I've been cooking and feeding the neighbors for a very long time because she travel a lot and I love cooking so kitchen is my playground. So you would f really feed your next door neighbors and stuff? Yes, I would just bake and I'll give it to them or if I come down with a tray of cookie to bring it to the neighbor and then I saw someone on the street walk by and said, would you like to try some? And it's been going on for nine, nine years, I think. What's your exact address? Seven. <laughs> you find the house with lots of garden on Third Street, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tell me if this is true, that you've said that you will never pay minimum wage. I did. I would never pay minimum wage. It's always higher. It was always higher. Yeah. I think people in the industry deserve to get better pay and better life. And there should not be discrimination in in the kitchen, um, like, um, you know, for in term of payment. Like you know, everyone should be equal, no matter what. Yeah. Let the skill be, you know, the uh, what can I say? The skill be what would define how much that people need to get paid. Mm -hmm. Not not dress. Yeah. Or not where they come from. Do you, you must have a lot of return customers from the neighborhood. They became family, they became friends. So, yes, I do have a lot of return customers. Yeah. Yes. Besides the dumplings, what's your hottest item? Besides the dumpling, everything is sell equally when I look at the item so each day because I think, you know, it's our way to present it to the customers. Mm -hmm. um, everything had to be like order to eat together and all of that. So. Uh, our curries are very, very stand out, like the sushi curry, the scallop with crab meat. She can curry goat curries and the crab meat in our house made curry powder sauce. That's became a huge hit. You eat curry every day? I do not. Not? No, I do not. Because that's the thing. When you come to the restaurant, you think you order one curry and then you just like, you know, pour it on your bowl and dump the rice in, that's not right. That's right. I, all I need is just like two spoonful of curry with a lot of, you know, with the other dishes. So no, then I don't eat curry every day. When you go out, do you go out to eat? I did. Do you have favorite restaurants? Do you give me a, a yes, couple of them? Yes, I love Fiori, I love Fiorella, I love Royal Isakaya. Oh, yeah, Michael yes. Shilson's place. No, Royal Isakaya is Jess Ito. Jess oh, Ito. really? Yeah, he, he is in the neighborhood. Okay. In my neighborhood, he's my neighbor. Royal Isakaya. Royal Isakaya. Okay, I will remember yeah. that. Um, all right. You say that you're, you won't say chef. You'll say cook, but you also call yourself an educator. What do you mean by that? Um, this is a, a restaurant. It's not I a library. Steve <laughs> said I'm very controlling. My husband. Husband. So no. <laughs> 
I would love people to to know about my food. So I try to spend time with every table and get them to know my food, huh. the real Thai food, uh, my way. This is I would not say the other food is not real, but this is my family recipe. This is my recipe. So in order for you to know me, I need to put myself out there and let us know each other. Yeah. So there's no other way but you know. Having the conversation. This is like eating at your house. It sounds like it is. Yes, that's fun. It is, and and I I would love to have everybody in as a friend. As you know, when you come in, you might be stranger, but you when you leave, you will be friend or family. Okay. Yes. Will you ever let me back in here? Not pad Thai and no pad s e u Yes, you will be back. <laughs> you better be. <laughs> Uh, well, it's great to get to know you. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. All right.